Welcome! In front of me is an Honor 200 Lite, and today I will show you how you can go through the setup process of this phone. So, when you put it up for the very first time, you should be presented with a welcoming screen where you get to find your desired language from the list. Now for me, it's selected English, which is the correct one. So I'm just gonna go to the next page by selecting get started and here I can choose my region again there is a vast list right here choose your region and then click on next. This will then bring us to terms of use and we have things like end user uh, end user software license agreement basic service statements and whatever you can tap on the details to read exactly what the, this bogus is and from there make sure you check the I have carefully read and agreed to the absolute uh, privacy invasion, invading options and then we can select next. Um, now here we have the option to insert our sim card. Now this can be done at literally any point throughout the setup process and the reason it shows up particularly here is the reason that inserting a sim card or connecting to Wi-Fi which will be the next option uh, is required in order for you to have the Google login page show up throughout the setup process and have date and time set automatically and also be able to restore your device from a backup. If you choose to skip both of them like I am going to right now, assuming I can and I think I can, I can see that date and time isn't set automatically though it is set correctly. You can go to the next page and here we have some Google services like location, scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. Now let's be honest, this is Google, so turning off all those off probably means absolutely nothing for Google in terms of your privacy because they're just gonna gather it without your knowledge now. Presumably. Um, next we have data and privacy. Again, a very hilarious kind of statement from uh, Huawei. I mean Honor, sorry, because apparently those are two different companies. Uh, Honor always puts privacy first in the pursuit of technology. Wait, what? This doesn't really sound like a like a first sentence. Just absolutely just throws me off. So, Honor always puts privacy first in the pursuit of technology, but pursuit of technology requires you to give away your data. So yeah, that's bullshit. Anyway, I'm gonna just select next and ignore this. Let's be honest, no one is fooling themselves that you have privacy on an Android device. Uh, next we have device protection. So here we have a couple different ways of protecting our phone. We have the fingerprint, face recognition, and under password we have pin, pattern, or password. Now, uh, if you're planning to use any of the first two, fingerprint or face recognition, you will always be required to select pin, pattern, or password. The reason for that is if something would happen to your biometrics, meaning your face or your fingerprint, or both, you would lose access to your phone. And that's why this would leave you with a third option being pin, pattern, or password, which isn't uh, dependent on your biometrics. So, um, you can set all of these up, all three, uh, or two or just maybe a pin pattern or password up to you and if you don't want to protect your device at all you can select skip right here it does give you recommended setting uh, setting a password cool but i'm gonna skip anyway then we have enhanced services i can go over this and see what this is i'm just going to be uniformly selecting no thanks user experience programs uh, yeah, later uh don't have uh location services again later Keep your software up to date. Now this is a tricky one if you want to ignore this. You have to click right here on this blue text update manually and don't enable. And then we have system navigation, which we have two options. We have the gesture navigation, which luckily is now selected by default. And then we have a three button navigation style, the OG one. Now you can choose whichever one uh, you prefer. I do prefer gestures, so I'm gonna select finish now. And luckily that doesn't actually force me anymore to learn the gestures. It's been long enough, uh, so I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to use them, but there was an option under the get started to uh, learn them. And there we go, there's our home screen with the device fully set up. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.